Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks in PyTorch with Washington University. In this video, we're going to see how to load and save PyTorch neural networks. We're going to go ahead and open this and collab so that I can actually run code when needed. We have the usual preliminary code right here. We're detecting if we're using a GPU, CPU, or the Mac M1 or M2. Works kind of the same. So now we're going to see how to save and load neural networks. So here I am going to have some of the code that we've seen exactly like in the last section. We're going to load the auto miles per gallon data set that has a lot of information on cars, cars from the 1970s, unfortunately. But these cars are, we're going to try to predict the miles per gallon and see how accurate of a neural network that we can get. We're using cylinders, displacement, horsepower, all these very important features. And we're extracting the miles per gallon as the Y, and we're filling in horsepower because some of the cars we don't have horsepower for, so we just put in the median. We build the neural network and we fit it exactly like we saw in the previous sections. So let's just go ahead and run this. Wait, let's not run this. Before we run it, we do need to run this part. This is a common error that I almost committed myself that students ask me about all the time. Always run the stuff from the beginning. I almost clipped this out, but I thought, you know, other people do this a lot as well, and then ask me questions. And we'll connect to the Google Drive, because we need a place to, to save to. It can take a long time to train your neural network, so this is why saving is particularly important. So we're going to run this block of code here, and you'll see that saving it is really pretty straightforward. We're saving it as a pickle file. It's a very common way to store objects in Python. It doesn't work great for everything, but it is designed so that it will save PyTorch neural networks just fine. So you can see we train it all the way to eight. We could get probably a better RMSE. I've seen this get as low as three or so, but that's good enough. I just want to verify that it remains the same. Now we stored it to milespergallon.pickle. If I go to my Google Drive, you'll be able to see that it's stored there. Actually, since I didn't specify a path, it's just storing it right on the, the common directory content, it's called, of Google Colab. So if you reboot Google Colab, which you can't help but do when you exit, it will get rid of it. So you might want to store it off on your G drive somewhere if you want to keep it for a while. Then we're just going to load it. We're going to, use, we're going to do torch.load, the opposite of torch.save. And it's going to come back, and the error should match exactly the same. And there you have it. You've successfully reloaded the neural network. This is going to come in handy for when we do training that goes for hours and hours and hours. And maybe you want to save it at certain intervals and checkpoint. It's a very common practice. Thanks for watching this video, and please like and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss anything in this course. And thank you to all the Patreon and YouTube members for your support. It's very much appreciated.